players, people always talk about guys that come into the league uh, after, out of college. It's the most mentally exhausting year because you, you're going through so much. Can you? Is it oh yeah, I can. I can definitely say that, man, because I came from a, a team prior to this one. So. Right. Uh, one, the first few weeks, I was still trying to get the playbook I had previously out of my head because right. I was learning this one. And I was just mainly learning this one. Have what this is our 16th week of the season, I believe, mm-hmm. or something like that. And now it's home, I'm only 16 weeks into this playbook, and just got to make sure I, I stay in to it in all season. And how challenging was it to switch positions too? I mean, not only are you, you're going to the NFL, but I believe it's unheard of, especially going from college to the NFL because NFL you're playing the best of each player on their team in college or whatever. Mm-hmm. So. I'm one of the best consistently day in, day out, play in and play out. So I just got to make sure I'm coming to work every day. How far have you come since you signed your contract uh, I've, as an undrafted like rookie? I felt like I came a pretty long ways from what I have made because I've never been in a three-point stand since uh, Pee Wee, really just been in the back, playing quarterback my whole life. Now I'm coming in the NFL, playing tight end, getting the three-point stands. Just the main thing, like I said, I have to work on is probably bulking up getting the physical side down to blocking and everything. So has that been the, I mean, the toughest part of learning tight end, of switching to tight end? Blocking, yeah. It's no, been no, blocking. Yeah, the blocking techniques and blocking, yeah. What, I mean, being a quarterback, is what your vision of the game from that position, how does that translate to maybe helping you as a, as a tight end? It helps out a lot when, when I'm running routes. Uh, being, in, being a quarterback previously, you know, uh, what the quarterback is looking at as far as coverage rise and what holes and windows he's looking to put the ball in your hands to. So that helps me a lot running the routes. Do you really uh, kind of cherish the opportunity to, sh- to to show that you can be a guy in the future at tight end, uh, a guy who can play in this league at that position? I mean, I know we've seen you a lot at you know, the Wildcat. I'm sure you embrace those opportunities. But how much would it mean to get some extensive playing time it means at tight end? I'm putting a lot on film, yeah. uh, giving the coaches more to look at for me, uh, off-season rise, see what I need to work on, see what I'm good at. So make sure I'm here the next season, make sure they can put me in as early as when we start off so I'll be ready to go. And Like I said, getting more playing time to help out a lot. How have you kind of mentally handled the transition? I mean, is it something that you were kind of hesitant to accept at any point, or did you were you just you took that leap of faith? Yeah, were you all in? I mean, I just took it because I know that I want to stay as long as I possibly can in the NFL, whether I'm at tight end, fullback, or whatever. Any position they want me to play, I mean, I have to study that position to make sure that I'm ready to go and because I know that, like I said, I want to be here a long time in a National Football League and with the Cleveland Browns. When, when did you first get a feeling that that was in store for you? I mean, in college, did you ever think, I'm I'm gonna, yeah, did you ever think this is I, my future? Uh, I went to the Texas vs. Nation All-Star Games when I first started doing some tight end work. Uh, I never, I didn't even train, train doing that. I was strictly doing quarterback stuff and all that, and then I went to the, to the Texas vs. Nation game, and that's when I started putting my hand in the dirt and doing some blocking and running. Was that shocking to you at first that coaches wanted to see you there? I mean, it, it was. That's okay. yeah, it, it, it was because I, I figured like, I was a little smaller because yeah. I don't really see like a uh, quarterback playing, playing tight end. But like, I, I did it. I, I haven't complained about it once, and just something I just got to work on. How much bigger? I was at high school at Texas versus the Nation All Star game. What, what was? No, it was it was coming. It was coming out of college. Oh, okay. yeah. How much bigger are you now than you were I in gained, Minnesota? Uh, probably about. Two. What, 10, 5 to 10 pounds. Okay. Probably less and you're looking to gain I mean, a lot just more? Make sure I'm still able to move and get stronger at the same time. That's, if I can like get stronger and still stay at 250 and faster, I'd probably stay here. You know, how, how encouraging is it to, to see a, a guy like Jordan Cameron have success? Um, and how much of a help has it been? Oh, it's very inspiring. Uh, you know, that he, he just told me that he just started playing yeah. tight end not too long ago. And to see the things that he's been, been able to do in this league is very inspiring. And, uh, to see him come to work every day and his athleticism, and uh, hopefully one day that when I get all the technique and stuff down and learn, I can I'd be able to do the same thing. Can you dunk like him? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> we, we, we also talk about basketball a lot in our tight end room, so we'll see who the best guy in the offseason is. Did you have any kind of hoops background? I, mean, I did played you? the last time I played was in, uh, my freshman year. But other than that, I haven't played since just work, working on football and track high school. 